There are a couple of different Funko Pop stores that I don't get to visit very often here in my home state of Utah, so I figured I would dedicate a video to that today. Visiting a box lunch and a Hot Topic I don't go to very often, and also a comic book store, the Nerd Store, to see what really cool Funko Pop grails they have. And without any further ado, guys, let's get it started. Here we go. All right, guys, so for this video, I wanna start things off at Fashion Place. I believe there to be two stores in here, a box lunch and a Hot Topic that have pops. So I wanna go in, see if they've got anything good, and then we're gonna head to our next stop after that. And I'll have to admit, I've only been to this mall a couple of times, so I have no idea where their box lunch or their Hot Topic is, so this might be a second. So I finally found Hot Topic, guys, and they had some new pops in here that I hadn't seen before. The two-pack of Beetlejuice and Lydia right here, guys. It's kind of a callback to the original movie, if you ask me, with Lydia being in that red dress, so that's kind of cool to see that they made that. And Bob, a very unique Funko Pop, guys, with a very small head, and he still has the Funko Pop eyes. So I thought that was pretty creative that Funko was able to do that, make a popified version of Bob. But uh, guys, we have one of the light up pops right here, guys, the light up Jack Skellington. It looks like the candles on his head and his hands light up. And also Mickey. It's kind of the same feel, guys, with the light up hand and heads and the jack-o'-lantern. That's a pretty unique pop. Some of the newer uh, Marvel pops that they came out with. And I'm surprised that they still have the uh, mocking SpongeBob, guys. That's one of my favorite exclusives of the year. And uh, I, I love the SpongeBob pops. Kind of looking around to see if they have any chases. Probably not, but it's worth a check. Over at Box Lunch, guys, they had some new stuff too. Pretty similar to what they had over at Hot Topic. They had some of the new John Wick pops. I was kind of looking to see how big the set was. It looks like it's just the two. Some of the Universal Monsters, guys, kind of like the stylized Universal Monsters. The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror narrator, which I picked that up in another video. And Tiger from An American Tale, guys. That is definitely a nostalgic movie for me. I remember watching that back in the day. But other than that, that was pretty much the majority of the stuff that they had in their pop section. They also had a chase on the back counter as well guys i didn't pick this one up because i don't really collect black clover all right the next stop guys is going to be at the valley fur mall and we're going to be going to a store inside of here and that my friends is the nerd store one of my favorite comic book shops that's actually local around here that sells funko pops and they have a great selection so we're going to head on in see if they've got anything hopefully maybe buy a grail that i've been looking for i don't know we'll go check it out so right here guys it seems to be most of their more common stuff that's going to be out here it says right there 11.99 funko pops but looks like it's a good mix of you know somewhat newer stuff somewhat older stuff but we can take a look and see what they have it looks like right here guys it's a good amount of like marvel and dc a little bit of sports as well some wwe and some hockey pops football but you've got some disney over here some anime some television and movies guys they've got some other really cool sections to check out so we're gonna head over there so back here is where we're gonna find most of their more like somewhat more valuable pops and some exclusives so we're gonna take a look at all these different walls and see what they have looks like a lot of the stuff that they have right here guys is some of the stuff from the box of fun that came out a couple weeks ago so you'll see a bunch of different freddy funkos like as the conductor from uh schoolhouse rock we have western ken freddy zartan captain hook and also jazz from transformers and even one of the uh, mascots the pop bucklers right there coming back over guys to this first wall looks like it's a lot of different wwe and some ad icon stuff one that i feel like i don't see very often guys is the figure of the rock he's got his eyebrow all raised it's like a rock funko pop to a t guys how he usually would look but it looks like there's some older ones on the back right there guys that are pretty valuable as well but yeah this one came from 2013 that is definitely an older wwe pop for sure i mean they've got a good mix of stuff in here like sheamus is an old one roman reigns is a pretty solid one and the undertaker i mean some good wwe ones a great selection down here guys like i was saying there's like some random kind of ad icons and like freddy funkos that are down here like some of the stuff from like new york comic-con last year and san diego comic-con the, the year before as well so those are in bad to see they've got a little bit of a star wars and dc section in here guys with some of the animated batman tv series ones with the joker penguin mr freeze i always think those ones are really cool i, d I don't feel like i see those very often they're, they're kind of unique in my opinion and they are a little bit older guys from 2015 so you know a little bit rarer i would say but yeah some of the star wars pops that are down here guys one of my favorite i don't know why but i really love this mace windu guys he's got the purple lightsaber you know like he does in the movie and everything like that but that's i don't know for some reason that's one of my favorite star wars exclusives another really cool star wars pop that i feel like i don't see very often is this wampa that's up here that is definitely an awesome one we got the flocked one and the normal one and then coming over here guys it looks like it's going to be a bunch of different 
Marvel stuff. Gotta love the Eric Killmonger chase. That's one of my favorite chases. I think this set had two different chases, if I'm not mistaken, with the Black Panther and also Eric Killmonger. Both had chases when they came out. Oh, this one's kind of a cool one, guys. I don't think I've ever really seen that sticker very often. We have the pop culture Okoye right there. That's pretty cool. Check out that sticker. I think that's a, an Australia exclusive pop usually. And then a couple of other really cool ones up here, guys, like with the Spider Gwen from Into the Spider-Verse and also Daredevil right there, the Target exclusive. This section right here, guys, has some really good uh, television pops, like the ones from all the office. There's so many office pops, guys. When they first came out, I was like, oh, cool. They only have a couple and they've definitely milked that line. There are so many of them. They have some really cool cereal pops right here, guys, with the Count Chocolate, Frankenberry, and Blueberry. I know I'm missing one of these ones. It might be Blueberry. I can't remember. But I love me some basketball, so whenever I see that, I got to show them off. Larry Bird, Allen Iverson's great, Michael Jordan, a couple different ones of those. And shout out to the Utah Jazz, Carmelone right there. Let's see. What else do they have in here? A couple of different video game pops, guys. I feel like those ones are always really hard to find. Video game pops. Miss Pac-Man's a great one. Some Mortal Kombat that's up in there. Some Sonic as well. But some other cartoons with SpongeBob, Ninja Turtles, Rick and Morty, and also The Simpsons up here. I, I love that donut head homer. That's one of my favorite Treehouse Horror Pops. But you got some more cartoons in here, guys. I love, if you guys didn't know, one of my favorite shows growing up was Arthur, and I love the Arthur Pops. You don't see those very often anymore. Came out maybe like four or five years ago, but you got Arthur and DW as a part of the set. Looks like they just have DW here. But some other fun Disney ones in here, guys. They have an original solely from Monsters University. You don't see that one very often. I think I have that one in my collection, but I have it out of box. And then you also have some other really fun exclusives in here. Big Trouble Little China Lightning, Donnie from The Big Lebowski, some Firefly Doctor Who, some Friends Pops with the Monica, the Turkey Head Monica, some X-Files. What else do we have in here? We have the Bell, the Disney Bell. Not bad. Some Willy Wonka, some Aero Pops, an NFT Astro. We also have the Zoidberg up there. Do I have that one? You know, it's another case of this one. I actually have this one out of box, so I might need to pick this one up today. All right, and then their second little wall over here guys of pops looks like it's more movies and television you got some good stranger things ones in there some big bang theory sons of anarchy with clay morrow back to the future i know a couple of these have been on the rise guys like biff tannin so it's kind of cool to see some of those ones go up we have some die hard in here guys it's about that time where it's almost die hard season crazy to think oh and every time i see the sesame street pops i gotta show them off guys with oscar the grouch and also burt you, you gotta love those i think i have the entire set if i'm not mistaken okay guys so i'm looking in their grail case that's over here and i'm actually seeing a couple of things that i'm kind of interested in first off i never see that sonic anywhere guys i have the original tails and knuckles but sonic has been really hard for me to track down i don't know if i want to pick this one up today but that's a good one for sure it's, it's definitely pricey you got like lebron and there's a good one i think i have one of those ones for the 50 dollars collection challenge i can't remember which variant i have but i have one of them and then one that i'm eyeing over here guys is that napoleon over there from napoleon dynamite i don't see napoleon pops very often so i might need to pick that one up today especially because he's coming to fanix and i could i can get that one signed but anyways if you want to take a look at some of the other ones they have in here the haunted mansion ghosts are always good the rock steady back there also that harry potter three pack and the two pack those are great and then down here guys they have even more grails they have honestly some really great stuff guys with the bunny suit ralphie the old man from a christmas story jay from jay and silent bob what else we have in here the flocked cowardly lion original scarecrow Daniel LaRusso is really cool. Some DC and Marvel grails, like Matt Murdock is really awesome. Some Star Wars with the Grand Ammo Thrawn. Captain Rex, I mean, holy cow, guys. They got some good ones. And I don't know how well you can see with these ones either, guys, but they have some Better Call Saul and some Breaking Bad ones. So, uh, yeah. Some, some great selection of stuff. They also had a little section right next to the register that had some awesome grails, guys, with the Krusty the Clown, Marge. They also had the Mare, Syndrome, the Genie, Doug, Harley Quinn, that white Deadpool right there, and a couple of Five Nights at Freddy's Pops. Dang, those were some good ones right at the checkout. Those are sweet. Okay, folks, that's going to wrap it up for my time at the Nerd Store. I bought a really cool pop that I've been looking for for a really long time, so you guys will find out once I get home, but... Like I said, let, let's get out of here and let's head back to the office. Well, I gotta say guys, the nerd store definitely had some good stuff and I ended up buying a grail that I've been looking for for a while. And the pop that I picked up guys completes a collection, probably the hardest one to find in the set. The title character of the movie, we have 
Napoleon Dynamite. And so I was absolutely jazzed guys to find this and they actually gave me a pretty good deal on this. I think it ended up being 70 bucks, which at one point this probably went for like $100 plus, but I figured this was a good pickup at 70. You gotta pick it up while you know it's down in price a little bit. But for me, I figured it was a good deal guys. And the actor for this, I think his name is John Heater. He's gonna be at FanX here in Salt Lake later on in September. I believe him and Pedro are gonna both be here. So I wanna bring both of their pops, both get them signed by those two actors. And I think it would make a great set together for sure. But you'll have to let me know in the comment section below guys, have you seen this movie? Do you collect the pops? I mean, this is a fun set of pops that came out, I wanna say in 2015. So it's definitely an older set you don't see very often, but I am very happy that the nerd store had this and I was able to add it to my collection. But if you enjoyed this video guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below out of all the grails that I showed off at the nerd store, what would be one that you would have picked up? Be sure to subscribe as well so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching again. You guys are awesome and the best. Like always, remember to be kind of one another. Always promote positivity. I'll see you in the next video. Catch you guys later.